Hey guys, this is Charlie from Damage ID. I want to show you how to get started with Damage ID, uh, download the app, and do your walk around. Let's get started. Got my tablet right here. First thing I'm going to do is this is an Android tablet. So the first thing I'm going to do is find Google Play and find Damage ID. Um, if you don't already have it up on your screen, the best way to do it is just type Damage ID, one word, into the search, and hit enter. Damage ID should pop up first, and I'll just click install to download the app. Give that just a second. Okay, there we go. So let's open it up. All right, so in order to get a Damage ID account, you'll need to fill out an online form to request a new 30-day uh, trial. And once you do, once you have your account, you can log in uh, using the phone, using your new credentials. So I'm going to do that now. All right, the first screen you're going to get is going to show you ask for the unit number of the license plate. So I know the unit number I'm going to focus on today, um, and so let's type that in here. It's one two three four five for me. All right, so the we're going to start out with the going out pictures, and I'm going to start and perform the walk around. Let's get started. All right, let's start taking pictures of the uh, fuel and gas gas mileage level. So I'm just going to click on the dashboard. And I'm just going to walk in here and use the tablet to take a picture of the existing mileage. I can click the flash on here if I want to just get a little extra light um, by clicking the flash icon. And there we go. Next, we're going to move on to the front of the car. We've got a silhouette where we can sort of see uh, what, you know, every the outline of the car to match it up right. Let's do that next. Okay, we're going to take the right side passenger. <laughs> Now, if I'm seeing, if I see any damage that exists on the car, I see that scratch right there. I'm just going to use the existing damage button. So if I see any scratches like that spot right there, I'm going to mark the existing damage checkbox and then take my picture. This way, the customer won't be blamed in case the damage was already there. And let's move on. Take a picture of passenger. All right. Try to make this as fast as possible, this walk around. Then we go to the driver. So we're all set. If we want to take extra extra pictures of key fobs or the interior, I can use the take more pictures button. And I'll just click that just to take one more picture to make sure there's no cigarette burns on the seats when the car is getting going out. There you go. Now, when the customer returns the car, we're going to have these pictures captured permanently by, uh, with a date and timestamp so we know exactly what the condition of the car was when the customer left. So I'm going to hit done now and uh, the images will sync in the background process. Hello sir. Hi. Great rental How was the experience. Rental? Good job. Good. Okay, now we're ready to take new pictures on the return to make sure that the customer who just returned the car isn't having any trouble. Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in, check the same, the same unit number, and this time when it pops up, it's gonna ask me, can I make sure to take a look at the car carefully and review the photos. See a small thing here, but that looks fine. Just uh, some bird damage. And this one here, I can see there was damage before, so it looks like that's going to be totally fine. Customer's all set. All right. So I'm going to hit the done button, and my images are going to resync. And I'm going to go now that I'm done with the check-in. I'm going to go back to the office and take a look, just to compare the side by side and see how things are all categorized. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're back at the office and I've got the desktop open and I'm going to review the photos that were taken out on the, uh, on the lot. 
So I'm going to log in to app.damageid.com. And if I ever forget that, I can always go to the damageid.com website and um, just click up at the upper right hand corner. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to click login in the upper right hand corner. Then enter my username and password. Click it on the ready for review button. And here we go. I've got the before and after photographs showing the car in the situation before and after, and I can compare the difference. Now, I misaligned these a little bit, but um, let's take a look here. Notice this one was flagged for damage because it had pre existing damage. Um, now I can compare both the right side and the left side, and I can zoom in and see any details I want to see, as well as pan the images. If I want to export all my photos, I can click the Export Photos button, and I'll get a PDF containing all the different photographs and the timestamps. Um, let me just show you the timestamps where they exist. They're, they appear in the lower right-hand side. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see those timestamps that are built baked into the image, so they can't be... Um, taken out of the image. So that gives you an idea of how Damage ID works. Thanks a lot and have a great day.